Papa bought this over here and he made a furrower. Papa got this. He got some parts here and from those parts he made a furrower and he's about to make some furrows here. Let's see how it works. This is the first time it's been used. Well, it made some furrows. Let's see what Papa says about it. I'm not too sure we shouldn't have tilled it first. I believe it would have done a better job. I don't think it would have helped to have tilled it. I think that it was moist. Maybe it would have been better to do it this afternoon. And I'm not too sure that it probably don't need a little weight on it of some sort. So it'll dig in better. We're gonna plant garlic here. Yes. If all we're wanting to do is just to cover it up, then I think I did just perfectly fine. It didn't start out real good, but it's packed a little more there. Do you have anything more you want to say about this before I shut this camera off? No. <laughs> so it has turned into a beautiful day, around 64. We had to open up the high tunnel. I didn't have my drill with me, didn't want to walk over to the house, so I just opened up the big door right here. It helped a little bit. 95 with the door open. It's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow. It said uh, it was supposed to be a high of 60 today, a high of 66 tomorrow. I'll probably just open up the sides tomorrow. Even though it's a little late, this is uh, early to mid-December, we still uh, need to plant this garlic. So Nana got two different kinds. What kind did you get? I'll read on it in just a second. <laughs> Soft neck and Siberian. They've repeated it like three times, but I was moving the camera every time. Uh, so I made them say it again. That's why she said it enunciated the way, the way the last time. We still have to separate them. Nana, I've never actually done uh, planted garlic. Never planted one garlic bulb in my life. I haven't done much research on it either. Only enough to see that uh, it's really kind of late. Nana says it's fine. I'll just let Nana, you know, tell us what to do. So we got the kids out here to help a little bit because they can do this. Show them what you're doing. Okay, look here. You, you kind of peel this back and you take the cloves apart. It's got all kinds of little parts in there. If she's doing this completely wrong, you can come in and tell us. I don't know at all. I'm gonna trust her judgment. She hadn't led me too far astray in the past. If, if Nana you... knows everything. No, Nana doesn't. If you look, you put you put this if you put this part down and this part up, it it will it will grow. So you can't just drop it in there? No. See, if this is already starting to sprout. It's already got some sprouts coming up here. You see how it's green there? Uh, Nana says you put this part down. How far apart do we need to put them, Nana? Six inches apart, if you wish. 250 foot rows. Actually, they're a little shorter than that. Probably 145. I'd, I'd say we probably need to put them about two inches apart then. Because we got a bunch here. How much did you spend for all this? You got three pounds? Right at $48. So we got a lot. So we're going to take these and we're going to try to pull them apart and then we'll plant them over here and show you as we plant them. So they're finishing doing that. Whenever they take clothes off, uh, this is what's on the inside. This is what it grows up, Nana says. I don't know. This will be my first experience in the garlic. So we're taking this up for a future project. We'll tell you about when we do it. So you have to subscribe to the channel if you really want to know and watch everything. Also, while they're doing this and Papa's doing that, here we have the Pyrenees just watching. They roam around the farm watching our chickens and our geese and everything. If you look a little bit further back, uh, there's a giant schnauzer. There's Toby right there. He thinks that he's that these are treats and he wants one. This uh, Pyrenees is Sloan. Here's Toby. There's Marie. There's Mindy. And over here is Molly. We've got three great Pyrenees running around and two giant schnauzers. Our farm is super safe. Got it all done. They've all been broken apart. This is the bottom of the garlic and it needs to sit in the ground like this. This is the top of it. This is the part that comes up and, and sprouts to make it grow. So this is its butt and it needs to sit in the ground like this. So I'm lazy. If I were going to do it, I would just go along and just drop them in there. They won't go do as well. They might grow, but they might not. Uh, That's they're correct. far more likely to grow if you do it like this. Yes. Take a little bit of time and do it. If, if you pay attention and do it correctly, they will grow better. You have a better chance of it growing good and and making good garlic uh, bulbs you want a bulb out of each clove there's anywhere between five and ten of these cloves in each bulb 
And from everything that uh, I've read, garlic is just uh, plant it and forget it uh, until next year. Maybe you put a little bit of extra compost in it if you want to or beside of it. But other than that, you pretty much just leave it alone. Do you weed or anything? or? Uh, no. Uh, there's a lot of people that once they plant it in, in the late fall, they cover it with leaves or, or hay or straw to, to keep the heat in and to... to keep the snow and ice off of it. So we've got a little bit of straw or hay rather and straw we could put on there, but we may or may not do that. This area right over here, they scrape some of the topsoil off of it. It definitely needs a little bit more organic matter, which is one reason why we planted the, the wheat over here. I put some leaves over here and stuff like that. So we may do that. We've also got some more wood chips over there that we might put like here in the center between the rows too. So uh, let's get to it. If you like things like this, please follow along. Uh, you won't miss anything if you make sure you hit that notification bell and select all whenever you subscribe. And you like this video, that really helps us and the algorithm out so they show it to more people. If you're looking for other ways to support us, you can check out our About page. There are several things that you can do there if you want to support the work that we do on this farm. We do a new video every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and a live stream on Sunday nights on YouTube at 8 p.m. Central Time. Thanks. Thanks.